I don't even know what to say. If you dial this. If you could make one that looks like a, a goofy, like a goofy <laughs> scorpion where like the tail comes up as it fires, that would be ideal. Hey there everyone, this is Jason from Basic Nerf. This video was recorded during lunch break at Armageddon 2023. The man in the white shirt is Spoon, the originator of the Armageddon event back in 1999. Until the pandemic, it was the oldest and longest running Nerf internet community event. He is the first person to put up Nerf mods online via his diehard Nerf Warrior website in the 90s, and is one of the founders of the Nerf Haven forums, which is of course the famous modding forums. I'll leave links in this video description to check out those sites. While he's to have the hobby nowadays, he does come back once in a while to check out things. Think of him as the grandfather of Nerf. Anyway, here's a video of him checking out the Impulse Slash Inertia Blaster, as well as the Sweetheart Storm. He also talks with Eli Wu and Frontline Foam a bit. Enjoy the video! Is it uh, CO2 powered? Okay. What is the materials? Does, it, does the um, does the motor then cock the spring back? Wow, that's a strong ass motor. He also uh, studied electrical engineering in college, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he has has some knowledge in that. I'm sure came in handy. I, I dabble in electronics, but not. I can't design shit. You know, I can just put stuff together. And this is amazing. All right. Fire! Oh my god! What? You said the bolt comes back and forth too? How? It's fast full auto too, right? Uh, a lot of work. <laughs> it's in the video, just watch the video again. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to watch the video because, I mean, just. Have you seen the sensor in the back here too? Yeah, and then oh. this, is this just like some kind of like Arduino board kind of thing? No, or? it's a RP2040. Okay. Um, so, they see. Um, wow. <laughs> That's incredible, dude. This is the secret sauce that I've been... He also designed these mags, uh, part yeah. fiberglass. That's really, really hard to break. Wow. Yeah, Holds those are, those 23 darts? The same, uh, oh, yeah. the same material that the C mags are made of. <laughs> Oh, What's sheesh. the base for this gun? Like, okay, this is just all custom. Yeah. Got it. That's why there's only two in the world. I think yeah, he said. So like all these are like three D printed components. This is CNC. All the metal pieces are CNC. That's uh -huh. CNC. This is three D printed SLS. SLS. That's nylon glass fiber. Wow. Um, SLS. Muzzle. Uh, Did you just design this in CAD originally, yeah, and then just? Wow. What's up with the muzzle? What what is all this? Uh, so you know how when guns shoot they spin the bullet? Yeah, yeah. Same concept with nerf darts has actually proved to be solidly effective. The wow, it has so the spinning bearings as yep. it the yep. dart it twists it and then yeah, you can see holy it. shit. Yeah, again, you're, you're talking, voice. this is the guy who like first posted mods online and now I mean, he's like, you know, he's seeing this. I'm yeah. like, LOL, use rubber bands on the plunger, yeah. put a bigger I, spring I, in, and then you get to this in whatever, 26 years. This is incredible, dude. We used to dream yeah, about sorry, rifling barrels and have it work. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't, obviously. But this, I, the bearings is a brilliant idea. Was it hard to like figure out not, what angle oh, yeah, to get there, it to like, like thirty something? Uh, versions of what's the nearest place? I can imagine. Hey Jason, what's the nearest place around right here? Damn, there's there's a lot Thank actually. Just to search it. Anybody missing an orange non-firefly shell? I'll just put it in the just like a blue bin there for spare equipment. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about it. It's just so much easier. Okay, you uh, uh, can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you, Mario. Okay. Thanks for coming out, bro. Yeah, I was oh, I'm gonna go to the because I'm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take this water in front of the check in. Like the water. Water. Okay. Huh? There's a thrift store yeah. here. No, I'm OG Nerf. So, like, Irv he's, he's one of the founders of Nerf Haven, actually. Yeah. yeah. yeah this is a Nerf Haven shirt. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, the oh, well. first Nerf War that I organized was in 97 and that was at you know the park in Irvine with the big like boat in the sand yeah, that yeah, was there we had, we had a few wars uh, there the that might not exist anymore. It, maybe not and then uh and then the first Armageddon was at a, a school in Irvine I forget which one it was I was two years old <laughs> I was uh, uh 97 god I was 15 hey yeah 
Time flies with having fun, right? I know, for, <laughs> for real, for real. Yeah, when I made my, my website, you know, I was like 13, 14, and I'm using like just HTML in Netscape in Navigator. It's like, oh, I, I learned how to make a table in HTML, because, you know, that's that was how it was. But uh, this is amazing. Thank you. I love this. Show. One more, more mag for the road, maybe. If you want one more, want to shoot one more? Yeah, I want to go. I want to shoot full auto. <laughs> That's full auto now. Yeah. All right, let's see. This is crazy. <laughs> is this just like a like? This is like one of those like uh, you know, like I don't know, Call of Duty like legendary guns or whatever. <laughs> You're like you have unlocked after 25th prestige. <laughs> At this point, so it locks back. Yeah. And like a real gun, you can actually put in a fresh mag. It's going to be a really slow mag, but you can pick that one out. The new one. And if you know where normal bolt catches are, um, you uh, in on this one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing No, the lever on your finger. Right, finger, finger. Food. Ah. Press it. Whoa. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. slide by. That's it. Wow. Yeah, you can shoot again. That's uh, crazy. This, this mag is going to be really slow. Maybe just, maybe just a okay. semi, semi that. Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't oh, okay. Matter. It's oh, that's low. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Uh, yeah, even a lot of people now still don't know what to say. Even now it's... Um, this is don't know what to a say. lot of fun. It's, it's crazy what he's done, man. Do you, like, feel kind of bad when you're just owning people uh, like this? It, it, it's, still, it's still up to the player. <laughs> Majority of the game here is not like your blaster being great or something. It's, it's, you. it's usually just the player. Yeah, like, like the best player. Could That's be true because with good because uh, good Nate player. let yeah. me borrow like a really yeah. nice modded striker, and I still sucked. Yeah, because I didn't I didn't know the gun. Yeah, it's it's just you have to be cognizant of how to play the game. Yeah, that, that's more but important than the it's weapon. changing so much. Like it is. I was telling Nate, like you know. There's a base level of basically competence that you have to be with your with your blaster, and then after that. Yeah, but like I, I feel like as blasters have gotten more really advanced. crazy, like just even since I last played a few years ago, like the last Armageddon, 2019, the last right? Time I played. Um, you know, as the range gets longer and the reload and the, and the capacity gets higher, it changes. Where before I feel like it was a lot more. Uh, Slower? Running a lot. No, it was uh, actually more fluid uh, because, you know, you, you'd have whatever, well, two, three, way. six yeah. shots, and then uh, you better have a sidearm, you know, and, and it was a lot closer. No, no, that's not, um, that's so not a lot more dodging, a lot more emphasis on, so like, a, have a um, I mean, it's not that different. Like, it still plays similar, but, right, right. but uh, one thing that hasn't changed is seen like you know a hundred feet away some like little kid with what looks like a shitty little blaster <laughs> and then they shoot some 120 foot sniper shot right to your nuts that hasn't changed <laughs> it's always when you least expect it they have some crazy thing uh yeah this is amazing not stolen. Oh, tohova. What got stolen? <laughs> not tohova it's like He's always a friend, don't worry. Oh. <laughs> I move really quickly and quietly sometimes. It's only Eli knows I had look at older brother. And now it's on my Yeah. So I have full uh, CNC but... machine internals. Oh, uh, there's another. Uh, thanks for thanks for talking with him. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, dude, it's good to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Let me show you one more one more crazy blast. Is that cool? One more? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. The momentum, I guess. Or the whatever. So. Uh, this one's definitely more a little bit wider, but it's still expensive, but. So Same. this one, out of the box, at 320. I dial the app on a day, and then you've got your semi 320 FPS? Yeah. Oh, I took the battery off. Oh, actually, that. no, I did want the battery. Wow. So this is Derek. He runs Frontline for all my uh, Nerf business out of Utah. They came from Utah to play here. Very nice. So Very nice. Nine, just way, way worth it, man. Frontline foam. All right, what is Frontline foam? Uh, we are a nerf, high-powered custom nerf shop. 
Got it. A lot of like mod shops out there. Yeah. 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 The first and original custom homemade that we sold, like the caliber, about the same time Slug did. Okay. So Slug. I remember like, that. Yeah, I think I might have made like the first or second machine caliber after Slug. So we've been in the homemade hobby for a long time. Nice. Yeah, here we're yeah. we work with companies to license the creators to license yeah, stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Like this company yeah. Here is in Taiwan, so they only have these in Malaysia and the 2.0 so is with the newest version here. So you get a semi-auto. Whoa. Wow. And then full auto. And that that's on three. That's crazy accurate, too. Yeah, yeah, that's Springer. So you could do a 4S LiPo and get even faster than that, which is terrifying. And you have the bearings on the, at the muzzle, right? So is that, did you come up with that independently, or is that using Eli's design? Uh, the, uh, as far as I'm aware, the bearings on the muzzle around for quite a while. Really? I'm not even sure who originally did it. Oh, wow. Probably the people in Malaysia. Yeah, maybe, the high -tech maybe like 2017. I remember seeing like the videos from Singapore and I was and I was just like, these guys are insane. Yeah. These guys use crazy, yeah, they've got crazy cool toys, which is why I want to get those crazy cool toys here. Yeah. But here's with it on a 4S, and this is the only 4S I have, but it doesn't fit, but you can get 4S pretty easily. Oh, okay. That's yeah. that's what I was talking with someone about. I was, I was talking about my 3K and like, no, this is a... This is a... So then here's full auto. Wow. A little, a little really bad on those darts. That was not bad. Could you, uh, could you let Spoon hold oh, it and get go. some shots, Derek? Yeah, bang, bang. Wow. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, you can fire it. <laughs> Let's just say 4S, probably not recommended. This is heavy. Uh, that yeah. means it's expensive. It's got, in the back, it's got a full steel drivetrain, and it, there's no gears or anything, so it... Is it, is it still spring uh, yeah. fired at the end? Yep. Wow. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> so you got the, there's a semi-auto there. So okay, yeah, semi-auto's probably good. Oh, no, it's not, it's not really dialed in. Yep. So you can't uh, can't short stroke it, but it does have a when you're out of darts, it does lock. So like you can't fire. So you still have one in the chamber. So you're out of darts, but you have one in the chamber. So Got you it. Can reload, and so it won't let you dry fire it. Wow. <laughs> you had lunch ready? Hmm? You had lunch ready? Yeah. Okay. So pull, let go, and it cycles. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. The battery probably dying. I can't hear. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Technology. Yeah, yeah, it's, I like it because it's, it's big. Not, it's, 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 <laughs> big and heavy. It is big and heavy. Dang. Uh, if you need batteries, I have a bunch of extras. I've got a few extras. If I want to show those are kind of like, I think, kind of like the, the pushing innovation like a bit. like the cutting edge. Yeah, yeah. that's why I want to show you that. But, you know, it doesn't look like a, like a, like a scorpion, you know? Yeah. If you could make one that looks like a... Look like goofier? Like a goofy <laughs> scorpion where like the tail comes up as it fires. That would be ideal. <laughs> That'd be the dream. Could you, could you maybe make it after like a, make it look like a warthog or something, you know? <laughs> I missed that, that side of nerf. I know, right? different something really wacky to put on there. Oh, no. Oh. It's crazy. good. Dang. It's amazing. Yeah, thanks for showing them that, Derek. Yeah, Sorry for dumping, mag dumping the stuff you loaded already. Yeah, they're over there. I'll find them. <laughs> Good to meet you, sir. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Stay in the hobby longer. You know, I, you know, alive. can't can't get rid of me completely. Yeah, it's crazy Just, to think about the perspective. <laughs> right? Do I need to talk to you or it's, about what? Uh, uh, little clip, big order in with you guys. Oh yeah, are you? Uh, it's cool. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll let you go, man. I appreciate you coming out, supporting. Oh my God, dude, thank you. This is yeah. Amazing. This is amazing work you've done.